Welcome back to the channel. As some of you may well remember, we built this M57 One Series a little while back. If you haven't seen that video, it is on the channel and Harrison originally blew up the two litre diesel that was in this car. At the same time as this, I also had a spare M57, so Harrison decided to purchase it and make use of my workshop. Jason kindly let me use his workshop and has given me a hand where I needed. And the pair of us cracked on and decided to build this M57 One Series. Now fast forward three years, Harrison no longer owns this One Series and you guys have been constantly asking me questions. So the aim of this video is to hopefully answer a lot of those questions. Something that a lot of you guys have asked is how much this cost. Now, of course, the costs involved will depend upon how you do it, whether you purchase a donor car or you purchase the engine on the pallet. These engines on a pallet nowadays are around 500 to 1,000 pounds, depending upon which variant you go for. Using an E9X chassis to start with will make your life easier. The reason for that is the One Series and the E9X platform share the same front subframe. That will mean that the sump will simply slot straight in and you won't have any issues. Also, things like steering racks and also the wiring side of things will be a lot easier. That being said, we actually took this engine from an E60, which meant we had some additional wiring, we had to swap the sump for an E9X sump, and also the engine arms need to be the M57 arms. One of the other things you'll need to do is modify the prop shaft. Now, depending upon what gearbox you run and what rear end the car is, if you start with a 123D, you don't even need to modify the prop. However, we were using a 120D, so we had to modify the prop and also the exhaust needed a little bit of modification, which as you can see, was a simple extension. That extension enabled us to use the existing exhaust and it all bolted straight up. One of the next difficulties you're going to come across is the front end. You'll need to make some modifications to coolant hoses and also to the slam panel. So the slam panel we ran was actually off of a 135i as it enabled the larger rad to fit. A little bit of trimming and you'll see this all bolted straight up. Now it wasn't perfect, however with a little bit more time and effort we managed to make this sit a little bit better a little bit later down the line. As you can see here, everything sits perfectly and looks very OEM. Now one of the next things we did was decided to upgrade the brakes as upgraded power also requires upgraded stopping power. So these are a set of brakes off of a 140i and also the wheels and tires from 1.2. Remember when adding power, it's equally as important to add stopping power and handling capabilities. So here's our parts list and all the costs involved for our build. Of course guys, remember everyone's build is different and everyone's skill set may also differ too. So here's the end result of our M57 One Series and it's now time to address some pros and cons. One of our favourite things about this car was the fact it was built to an OEM Plus standard and also retained a sleeper look. Making just shy of 300 horsepower and 600 newton metres of torque, this car really was a wolf in sheep's clothing. So the main benefit of course is the added performance. When it comes to drawbacks, I can't really think of many. One of the only main drawbacks that I can think of is the wiring and coding side of things. Now every vehicle will be different, so there's no point sending me messages asking how to wire this car up. Obviously, depending upon what engine and what chassis you start with will make a massive difference. Of course, if you're competent in the wiring and coding, I really don't see any drawbacks to this build. Of course, if you're going to do this as a road car, please make sure you inform your insurance and go through the necessary checks before going ahead with this build. If you've enjoyed the content, we've got plenty more BMW content to come, so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up on this video. For now guys, I just wanna say a massive thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.